Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft, not in the craft slash dining room. Today I'm coming to you from my office to film the intro because we have people downstairs and those people, I don't feel like kicking them out. It's a long story. No, it's not. That's the end of the story. But today I'm very excited because I'm going to be creating a card with the new Simon Hurley stamping foam in the heart shape. My card is really simple. I also have a great technique for anyone with wrist issues when it comes to pressing. Trust me, this one's a winner. To see my heart stamp foam card project, stick around. That video is coming up next. This is where I do all my editing. The more you know. So here's what I've got today. I've got my stamping foam, the new heart cut. Can you see that? There's a heart cut out of this foam. Let's pop it out. You got two things. I'm going to set this one aside. You got two things to work with. I'm going to pop this out. <laughs> it's just so cute. I almost just want to do a craft project with just this. You know what I mean? But we've got two things to work with. Today, I want to try this. Just want to do something with this. So I thought I'm going to use an embossing folder, a 3D embossing folder, that has a lot of detail. Here's what this particular folder looks like because it's not necessarily like heart themed or love themed. This is called exotic vines, but it's one that I have that has a lot of texture. And I think I'm going to use the full weight of my body <laughs> to make this impression. We're going to move this friend out for now too, because I'm just going to be working with the heart. Now, here's what I'm thinking. Which side do I want? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, right? So we've got this, but the first thing I have to do is I have to heat this up. So let me grab, I wanna protect my surface that I work on. Look at that, there's a, there's a random sequin, just wants to be booped, what can I say? All right, sometimes I like to just bring in something that's gonna protect my surface and I'm going to grab my heat tool and we're gonna heat this surface up. Looks like Simon. Early says to do. And then I'm going to take the piece and I'm going to go like this, right? Just pop it on and I am literally going to lean on it. My head is floating above the camera. Why am I doing this this way? I have terrible wrists and I feel like if you just put your whole body, it's like a workout. Who says crafting isn't a workout? Let's see what we get. Hey, look at that lovely pattern. Now, did I get it good enough? Well, I don't know. I don't think I pressed as hard as I could down there, but you can see the pattern. Let's try another and see if I get, I've got two. So you know what, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set that aside and we're going to take this side. Well, first I'm going to heat it up and repeat. Okay. And now let's do this side. And again, I'm putting my whole, my whole body into it. <laughs> See, the forearm, the forearm is such a strong bone. And if you have bad wrists, try it. Try just, you know, crossing your arms. See that? <laughs> just like you're, like you're hanging out, like you're resting. Now let's see, how does this look? Oh, I think. Oh, look at that. So that's way better. Can you see the difference? <gasps> All right, I'm gonna set this one aside because this is the one that we are going to work with. I've got this and I've got a panel and I think this panel will work. Can I, can I do it that way? Oh yes, I can. Or I could go this way too. You know what? That might be a cute card. Okay. I'm just going to drag some on. Now I'm going to use oxides today because you know, they're just creamy. They're just a nice creamy thing. And I think they're going to do a great job with this. So we're working our way. Oh, that is very, that's very messy. I, I get very messy with my pads. We're just gonna, just gonna swipe, you know, just do some swiping. And yes, that does make me think of swipe or no swiping. 
what can I say? I had children that grew up in the 90s. Okay. Get the festive berries here. Like that. Swipe that up there too. And then I'm going to finish with candied apple. Might go back over the kitsch a little. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, actually I don't. <laughs> you might be thinking, but Kathy, why did you do, you know, why didn't you do something with greenery? Because I want to take a pattern that is not necessarily love themed, but reinforce that love just by the color choice, right? That's all. That's all. I'm going to put a little more picked in there. Now, I think I've seen people do this. Hold on. I'm just going to mist and drag. Oh, Jennifer McGuire does this and someone left me a comment and said, Kath, just do the mist and drag. So I'm going to take my thing and just mist and drag. Mist and drag. Did I get enough of it? Eh, probably. All right. Well, now I got to wipe this off. See, the forearms are really good for so many things. Now, I do need to dry this a little because now it's wet and I feel like my cardstock's going to... Well, let's just clean while we're at it. Look at the difference. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take my panel right there and we're going to make our impression right in the center like that. Now, this one I'm not as worried about, although you know what I could do, right? I'm pressing it in. I could take my stamp press tool, pop that down and press. Do a little rocking and a rolling. If this table's rocking, I am crafting. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know what it's going to look like. Did I get a good impression? I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, that's really pretty. Now my vine though, check it out. Because of the placement of my vine, it kind of mucked up the heart, uh, shape of the heart, but you know what? That's okay. I think that's very cute. All right, let's see. I could, oh, here's the other thing too. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. I'm just gonna put a little water on this and I'm gonna grab my cloth. Oh, my cloth is totally dry. And then I'm just gonna wipe this off a bit. Super easy to clean, right? I'm like, let's do that. Get those oxides off. And once everything's off, and I, I do love this cloth. It's a microfiber cloth, so it doesn't really leave marks on anything. But look how nice and clean that is. Many of you probably already know how this works, but goodbye. Look at that. It's as good as new. Let's take this friend and I'm going to do something. Let me grab my distress oxides back here. So I brought in my mucky muck box that I do everything in and I'm going to splatter on some color of the same color. And you know what I thought would be cute? Hang on here. Let's get some of these out here. What if I brought this back in and just used it as a mask? You know, just to keep the splatter off the part that I did. You know what? Let's try it. The picked raspberry and let's do the kitsch flamingo. So those will be at the top. Okay. Let's get that in there. Ooh, yeah, close enough. And all I do with this is I'm just going to spray a little water on this off camera, right? Maybe a little on there. Oh, maybe, oh, you know what? Don't do it near your paper. Uh, I'm going to do it just off camera, get this a little wet, and then we'll just go, just make some little splatters. I'm going to go at the top, like that, with those colors. Mm, 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 mm. That hurts. Yeah, do it that way. <laughs> I always forget, and then I want to do it the other way, and it hurts the, hurts the knuckle. I'm not going to lie. All right, I'm going to smoosh on some of the festive berries, get a little mist going, pick that up, oh, and then just splatter some here at the bottom. It's so subtle, you're barely even going to notice the color differential. How am I getting this all over my 
camera lens, but you know what? I think it's going to be fine, actually. Smoosh a little more and make it darker. All right, you know, it's for something. A little something, something. Now, when I pick this up, we have a cute little pattern of splatter all around, but not in the part that I did, huh? All right, moving on. I think that this doll pink would be very cute on here for a card base. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll make our card base and score this right at four and a quarter. So this is five and a half by eight and a half for our landscape card. Okay, get my other bone folder, Teflon bone folder to give that a nice press. Okay, and I'm going to tape this closed as I am want to do because I, I need my card panel to be very flat. You know, I recently took a tip and it's uh, to just leave the card open and I might, you know, I might do it both ways sometimes. You know, never say never. I have my foam tape on the back here, so I'll go ahead and take these off and pop this on my card base. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do for a greeting. I do have an idea. I think it will be cute, I think. So we're going to pop that down. See how there's just a nice little framing margin space on here? Normally I crop mine a little tighter, right? I, or I mean, I come in a little more, but I just wasn't sure how that heart would look. But I do know that I want to do just a sentiment strip on this, you know, just keep it easy. And I do love my sentiment strips. Let's see here, I have this one. I have some already cut apart, so I'm not really sure. I actually think the uh, Be Mine in a Fully Consensual Way is very cute for my husband to die, <laughs> or for anyone really, I, I think it's funny. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sentiment label dies to cut these out. If you've never used sentiment strips, they are very cool because you cut them apart. They're good to go. Crisp white type on black. It's actually the absence of color in here. And what you do is you just, you cut some out, not that one. I think I would go a little, the sentiment labels, are made to work with them. So I could cut out either the lowercase or the uppercase. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tape this into place and I'll run it off camera over on my Gemini Junior. Sometimes I like to use my Gemini Junior electric die cutter because of the wrist issues. It's nice to have. Let me let me tell you, I can't really see if I've got that straight. So let's just tape a little there. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I tend to slip when I'm cutting sometimes. Like I go to put it down and I think it's perfectly straight. And then <laughs> lo and behold, it's not. So I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm also going to take the smaller one with the leftover and cut in a fully consensual way. So let me get those cut so we can assemble the card. I actually want to show you this. So I cut this out, right? The purple tape, the easy C tape comes right up. No, no, no worries, right? So be mine is cut to perfection. Then you take the other piece, and even though you can cut these out by hand too, I just never do because I feel like I, I just am not good with cutting them by hand. But now I will line the fully consensual way up like that, right? Get that lined up. And again, I will tape that into place and I'll go ahead and cut this out as well. So your, all your pieces can, can be used after you cut, which is kind of the cool thing. I'll show you. Got this guy, and that guy, and that guy, and now this friend it is also cut beautifully. So here's what I'm going to do. The other thing that's cool too is you just keep everything in a little pocket. I love these little pockets from Simon Says Stamp for this very reason, right? You just keep your sentiment strips together and then you pull them out and dump them all over your surface for when you know you think you want to do something so let's get these back onto the magnet wait where did i put oh, i just i just put away the one i was using so let's take that back out thank you oh my gosh kathy let's trim these down and this is where i love love my little baby look how little it is Rock -a -bye, baby. it's just a baby trimmer never had one before 
didn't think I needed one. Technically, you don't, but I like having one that I can keep here at my surface because my main trimmer, I, I keep on a separate table uh, away from the main table. But here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take our letter. We're gonna line it up right on that little groove. Hold, cut, flip it, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, right? You're gonna center that letter, hold it, and cut, and when you do that, you've got a perfectly centered greeting. You're gonna do the same thing here. And you can do this with any trimmer really that lets you line things up. So again, I'm gonna, on this one, I like to have it the smaller type where the first letter is on the other side of this little groove. Like that. And come over here, get that first letter over there again, hold, cut. And again, I will put this, now I'll put this friend back in the pocket because I don't, I mean, I don't think I want it to be lowercase. Well, you know what? I'm going to cut it. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, when in Rome, uh, center the groove and cut. Center that letter right on the groove and cut. Okay, I'll take a look at both. I, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes the spirit moves me. All right, let's get this little friend out of the way. I'm going to do my other little tip, Copic marker or any black marker, I do this with the sentiment strips to make them look like they are on black cardstock. I just swipe gently over the side. I love the alcohol ink because it dries pretty much as soon as it hits the paper. It's not mucky. And then it looks like that, like it's on black cardstock. Someone had messaged me that there is, I think it's a German company that prints white ink. Uh, and that, that was new to me. I've never heard of that. So, you know, old designer, old graphic designer can learn new tricks. I don't know if it would be a feasible thing for um, someone like me to have an ink toner cartridge, considering I don't even have a, I don't have a current working laser printer. My 15-year-old uh, laser printer died, and I just haven't replaced it because I'm trying not to buy things I don't need, you know, unlike craft supplies. So we're just doing this to create that look for our white type look. All right, now here's what I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's figure out the design, shall we? I know we're going to have in a fully consensual way. And I know I'm going to have be mine, but the question is, do we like, oh, I kind of like an offset. Isn't that kind of cute? Do we like a lowercase or do we like a cap? I'm so torn. Generally speaking, so, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Because, you know, we could be making a huge mistake. Maybe I do like a little more of an offset on B mine. Oh, that's better. See, I don't, I just don't think I like, I don't think I like the caps or the lower case. You know, yep, you know, well, mm, nope, we're taking it aside. I know for those of you who are team lower case, I'm going to go here. So let's grab some adhesive. I think for this, I will use some Doris because these strips are, they got a lot of dimension. And what I usually do is just kind of eyeball the length of the piece and then just cut that one. Okay, let's take you up and let's flip you over and we'll just pop this right into the center of that. Nice, so now we get that nice little bit of dimension and we'll do the same thing with Be Mine. We'll just take we'll take one scrap on one side like that and then maybe that will give me the support and the balance on the larger piece, see that? Ooh. Oh yes, I don't know. I think this is very cute. So let's get out our ruler. Now I have one of these misty rulers they come with two in a pack. So one is imperial and one is metric. I don't, I, well, I'm not sure which one I did, but they do have also, I'll show you this right here. They have a metal uh, edge if you're cutting things, but I think this is kind of cool. So let's get our clean tweezers 
and let's get a little liquid glue. I'm gonna use my Barely Art because I wanna place this friend first and get it straight because if I get this straight, there's a very good chance I will get it all straight. So let's open our bottle. I'm sure this is not, I have had very good luck with this glue. Now I'll get you here and no clogging. So I'm gonna add a, a little, just like a little trail like that. That's so I have a little wiggle room, right? For placing my greeting to make sure that it's straight. So I'm gonna visualize the center. I do like that this will just kinda, you know, kinda cross the boundary. And then very quickly, I'm gonna bring in my little, my little T-square and press that the little lip up against the edge. Let's see here, what am I sticking on? Oh no, I'm not sticking, I'm just straight. <laughs> Look at that. I think we, we give that a 9.9. .9. Okay, then I can move on to this one and it will be easier to place, but I am gonna offset it a little. I think that's cute. Okay. So let's get our liquid and just do our little, do a little ribbon, a little ribbon of glue. So I hope this inspires you to just know that, you know, whatever you have, I know Simon Hurley has uh, lots of videos when he launched his heart product and uh, I will be sure to uh, link Simon's channel below in the description. But here we're going to do this little offset because I think that's very sweet to have just a little, maybe a little bit more like that. And you know, at this point I have so many Valentines for the hubs. I don't, I don't know. I, he's gonna, I, I love having choices. <laughs> or I could send this to one of my crafter friends and they'd be like, um, okay, okay, Kath, let's get some shine. All right, it's time to arrange some sequins on the piece. And I kind of don't want to muck it up too much, you know? Kind of don't, actually, maybe we have a, we have a bigger one up here like that. Like, maybe that almost looks like it's the letter, uh, that is your I. Come on now. Flip. There we go. Okay. Um, come up here. Do I want to have them? I mean, maybe we stay in, in the heart. You know, maybe, or, but, but maybe it would be cuter if we were kind of framing away from the heart. So we weren't taking away from the prettiness. I don't, I don't know. I'm torn. Tell you. Sequin placement, not for the faint of heart. No, I'm just kidding, it's just fun. I'll just go off in this direction, and this doesn't really need the shine. Now I almost feel like it's a little empty over here. Hmm. What if I went over that way? I have some coming up over here and here, because I feel like this side's a little lonely, you know, and maybe what we really need is we need that arrangement so that we have something coming up like that. I actually think that might be better and maybe even like, like that and that, you know, just kind of, just kind of coming up. That way this side doesn't feel so lonely. Yeah, okay. You know, is there a perfect placement? No, it's what, whatever you do. All right, so uh, the boop alert has been posted, so dogs and uh, people who are averse to high-pitched noises, we're going to go ahead and adhere. Boop. be fun to have a channel. Oh, I'm sure there are YouTube channels for dogs. I bet you they are. there are. Boop. There's a channel for everything. <laughs> and uh, boop. I could do a compilation of boops. And uh, that would be great for the channel. Have no idea how close captioning reads all this either. Oh, let's see, did you drop it? Yeah, let's pick it up. Come on, flip over. There we go. Okay. Boop. And right there. Boop. Actually, I think that's too close. Let's pull it down a little. Boop. All right, good. And that is my first attempt at using Simon Hurley stamping foam. And I hope that my wrist or, you know, the, the forearm trick helps anyone who wants to do something that's very pressy, you know, 
to, to try if you have trouble with stuff like that, because I do. My wrists are kind of wonky from all the years of pointing and clicking in my work as a graphic designer. And anything I can do as a shortcut on my wrists is a good thing. So I hope this inspires you to check out Simon's new heart stamping foam. Haven't done anything with this yet, because that could be fun too. I, I wanted to keep it simple, but I really like how this simple card project turned out. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find all of the links to the supplies I used in today's video below in the description box. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.